Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We are so happy you have joined us. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel. I need a drink, sorry. Food is one of the necessities of life. It's also something that most of us spend entirely too much money on. Even those of us who think they're doing well when they do their grocery shopping are often paying more than they need to for their family's food. Now, I have seven golden rules that will slash your food bill. Use one, use two, use all of them. They're simple and they work. Here they are. Number one is avoid eating out. We very, very rarely eat out, maybe twice a year, and then only for really special occasions. Now, going to restaurants, I know it's enjoyable. It's nice to sit down with friends and relax and chat, and it's easier than cooking for ourselves. But it's also really, really expensive compared to cooking and eating at home. Now, while there's absolutely nothing wrong with enjoying an occasional meal at a restaurant, most of us do so entirely too often. Cooking at home is much more cost effective. Golden rule number two, cook from scratch as much as possible. Now, a few of us have time to bake all of our own bread and make all of our own snacks and, and prepare absolutely everything, make the butter and everything. But by using more raw ingredients and less prepackaged foods, we can save a lot of money. And, well, freshly cooked food tastes much better. And, you know, it's often more nutritious than the prepackaged items. So your family will thank you for it as well as your bank balance. And remember, ingredients give you options. Golden rule number three. When shopping, make sure you're getting the best possible deal on each item. Figure out the unit um, cost of each package of everything you buy. For instance, if you're buying a bottle of juice, divide the price by the number of milliliters in the bottle to determine the price per litre. This will tell you which size bottle is the best deal. Because remember, bulk means bigger, not necessarily cheaper. Golden rule number four, don't rule out store brands. I am absolutely still gobsmacked at the number of people who simply ignore store brands or generic items. Look, for the most part, they're of comparable quality to the national brands. Often they are the national brands just repackaged and they are priced so much lower. Give them a chance. You just might find that you like them just as well. And if you do, you're going to save money. If you don't, you can go back to buying your regular brand on sale. Golden rule number five, comparison shop. We do it for white goods, houses, cars, all sorts of things. We should do it for our groceries too. Comparing prices at different supermarkets could save you a surprising amount of money on your grocery bill. But don't drive all over the place every time you go shopping because that's going to cost you more on fuel than it will actually save you. Find the store that consistently has the lowest prices on most of the things that you buy. Make up your shopping list for that store and stick with it unless you hear of an absolute great deal, best ever on something that you like, want, need, use that's at another store. Or find a shopping centre that has all your supermarkets under the one roof or at least the main ones that you use. One-stop shopping, saving time, saving money, saving energy. If it's not too far from home, ideal, perfect. And if you go early in the morning or later in the evening, it's not crowded. Now, if you need to travel more than 10 minutes to do this, consider changing the way you shop from weekly to fortnightly or from fortnightly to monthly. 
to save on the travel, the fuel costs and the time. Again, your bank balance will thank you. Golden rule number six, shop wisely, especially for produce. Buy your fruits and vegetables that are in season because they're so much cheaper and so much less, you know, better quality than those that are out of season. And if possible, buy from a local greengrocer. Their produce is usually cheaper and often fresher than what you'll get at the supermarket. And it's usually local. Supermarket produce usually has a significant amount of food miles on it. You know, lemons from California, anyone? Berries from the UK? Remember, buy in season and locally grown where possible. And golden rule number seven, go shopping in the right frame of mind. Eat before you leave the house so you'll be less likely to make impulse buys on the coffee and cake or the pie or that really delicious looking cream cake or chocolate bar. Leave the kids at home if possible. Not that you shouldn't take your kids shopping, but you won't be as distracted. Take your list, know roughly what the total will be and carry the cash to pay for it. This way, you can focus on buying only what you truly need. Your bank balance, thank you for it. Before I go, thank you so much for watching all the way through and for subscribing. You have subscribed, haven't you? Click that button. Feel free to leave a comment. And if you do, if you start the comment with golden rules, I'll know that you've watched all the way to the end. It helps me with planning for future videos. Now, I read every comment and I do my best to answer any questions you may have. But if you have a question, if you could put it in all capitals so it stands out, hopefully I won't miss it. The comments can all run together when I'm reading through them. So if you've got a question, make it stand out. If you know someone who might like this video, please click that share button to send them a link. That's all it does. Now, these three simple things, like, subscribe and share, help our channel to grow and to be recognised more easily. And the more easy it is to find us, well, you know what? The easier it is to um, let people know and spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it is absolutely possible even in this crazy world we are living in at the moment. I'll be back very soon with another video to save you money, time and energy. Thank you for watching and I will see you then.